Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we are going to go on a Polaris survival server and we're going to get a really good raid against a bit of a toxic owner. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I will do more Polaris content and you guys seem like you enjoy them. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. Each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one, which is an enchanted permafrost night raider. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Share members also have a hard chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a team-based sea battle game that requires different strategies and tactics. You can also play this game with your friends or with random people online. Currently, there are more than 500 historical ships available to play with, which are spread around 11 different nations. There are four different ship classes, which are destroyers, cruisers, battleships, and aircraft carriers, each of them having a different gameplay experience. There are different maps with unique landscapes which have stunning graphics and weather changes in battle. The latest update brings early access to a new branch of European destroyers. To mark the occasion, themed permanent camouflages for tier 8 to tier 10 ships and a commemorative flag have been introduced into the game and the fjord's port has been decorated. Everything is designed in breathtaking art deco style. The early access system lets you obtain ships in advance of their official release. In other words, you can get your hands on ships that will be available for research in the future before anybody else. The ships of the new branch are artillery destroyers relying mainly on their main battery gun in battle. These newcomers are capable of safely and effectively engaging enemy ships thanks to a combination of smoke generator and surveillance radar. However, it is important to choose the right moment to use them since the surveillance radar has a large radius but a fairly short action time. If you register with the link in the description below, you will get a huge starter pack worth 25 euros for free. This contains 500 doubloons, 7 days of premium, 2 million credits, tier 4 ship token and 6 skilled points commander. This only applies to new players who register for the first time. And let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I am on the server. I have been invited to play by a couple of friends. Apparently they have been playing here for a bit. Yeah, they've invited me. They are a three-man team already, but I am going to help them out. Apparently there is a base that they want to raid. Now this server has mods, it's Vengeance, but on Polaris. Last time I played with these guys on their Elver server as well, and we did some pretty epic base raids. So hopefully today we'll do the same thing. I guess, I don't know if we live in the sewers. Hopefully we don't, but I guess he was just looting around. Seeing if there are maybe any raids. Alright, so my goal is I want to get myself a base raid today. Maybe we'll get ourselves a pretty decent base as well. Generally just getting stacked. Yeah, my team have been playing here for a bit. They do have quite some gear. But I do want to grind for my own gear, obviously. But if they give me something, I'll probably take it anyway. Yeah, he's giving me those Polaris flowers, a vest. I'll take the vest, that's for sure. Now, there's a kid that gives me a blicky. That's basically it. I'm probably gonna go to a military location very soon and just loot there. <sighs> Alright, so I'm currently doing a loot run at melee. It's an unmarked military location, we're not at Fort Evergreen. But all I want is just full military outfit, maybe a walnut or something like that. Or we get ourselves some modded weapon. Now the only mod that there is is basically like a more Polaris weapons mod. So basically it's just a gun pack that are for Polaris. Alright, so let's salvage all of these clothes, make ourselves a bedroll. So that we can go and claim ourselves a bed inside the, their base. Oh, we're getting shot at. I have no idea from where. But I only have a pistol. Wait, I have no idea where he actually is. I don't think my team killed him. He may have homed. Because I have no idea where he actually is, man. Shots. Alright, my team killed them. Nice. Alright, so they killed him. He had the full mercenary outfit. Pretty nice grenades. I guess that's basically it, though. He's right over there. He must be low. Oh, he hit me. Uh, he is dead. It's the same guy as well. Uh, so there's a bunch of loot over here. Yeah, that's my teammate's loot, I think. I uh, swear all of these. There's another outfit over here. He came back so quickly, so he may actually have a base somewhere. Because he's a solo, so he may have a base very close. So if we do actually find his base, we could try to raid it as soon as we get raiding here. Because right now, we, we don't have any. Alright, let's reload. Uh, let's fill up our magazines. Alright, let's wear a military helmet. Oh, he's back. Yeah, he's up there. Hit him. Oh, I have no ammo. Let's reload. Yeah, he's shooting at me. He's using some sort of modded sniper. That's silence. Yeah, there's there's bases here. That there's an igloo here. So his base maybe somewhere here. There's a bunch of loot on the floor. Oh yeah, he's still here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, we got another one of these guns. Oh, I really need that gun. I have no guns. All right, let's take it. There's a bunch of loot over here. Two grenades. A bunch of safes. A drum as well. All right, let's med up. So this may actually be his base. Oh yeah, I hear shots. He's right over here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, this is his base. We found his base. Oh, wait, what? Oh, bro, no, the timing. 
There was so much loot in there. There's all right. Well, at least we found where he lives, and we should definitely return. If only I checked here literally one second earlier. All right, let's. I did put some stuff in my vault, by the way. All right, let's take these sheets. They are very important. We can make them into cans. Let's do that. All right, well, we shouldn't door camp him. We should just go get raiding gear and return. Oh, thank you. We should return as soon as we get some raiding gear so that we can actually finish raiding the base. Because inside it seems stacked and there's actually another one next to it as well, which also has an armored door. And those do take quite a lot to actually raid. Right, so I am in their base. They have built this. Now, it is actually a sky base. They've been building for quite a while, apparently. Now, in terms of loot, they don't have that much. They do have a bunch of PvP guns, but in terms of, like, raiding stuff, they don't really have that much. But they do have enough to make a couple of C4, so we're still gonna have to grind. We're probably gonna grind to get horde beacons as well. I'm gonna place my bed over here. And we are right above a military area, which is pretty good. We are right above an observer spawn, which is also pretty nice. Man, there's military loot over here, and we're close to Haze at the same time, so it's a pretty good location that they picked. Alright, so what we are going to do is we're going to go do a horde beacon over at Norva. It's gonna be a four-man horde, but I think on Polaris, it doesn't matter how much there is, you would still only get the same amount of lotuses. Alright, we're gonna go straight to Norva. It's gonna be quite easy to do it as well. Here we are all here. I got the horde beacon from my vault. I'll place it as soon as we're down here, yeah. It's a full moon at the same time. I'll only have to use a knife because I don't even have a chainsaw or jackhammer, but my teammates do. Alright, so it's hard beacon time. Alright, so the hard beacon should be done. Yes, sir. Now, probably one of us is gonna go to the dead zone to get gunpowder on the server. It's very easy to get it, since it's a bit high times load. And the rest of us will probably continue farming to get even more hard beacons. I think that's a pretty good plan. Alright, so I'm over at the ship. We need copper coils in order to get ourselves another horde beacon, but I don't think that... Yeah, they did spawn, lovely. So we can already make another horde. All we need is a generator, which we should have in our base. All right, yeah, my teammate accepted my TPA, lovely. Let's put those straight in vault, and we'll go home and craft the horde. All right, so we're also over at the hospital for more copper coils so that we can maybe do two horde beacons at the same time, rather than doing one and then farming for another one, and so on. Yeah, my teammate got the other one. I almost died. Let's just shoot them down. All right, yeah, my teammate did get the other one. All right, let's med up. Alright, so it's hard beacon time, we're all here. Still don't have a chainsaw, which is hilarious. But we need as much lotus as possible if we're gonna go do that igloo raid with armored doors. My teammates are killing everyone, I'm barely getting any kills. But zombies aren't that strong, even though it's a four-man horde. They're basically like normal HP. Takes two hits to kill them with a knife. Oh, Mega Zombie just spawned. Now let's spray him down. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well that was easy. Let's kill this dude. I think we are done. No, I heard zombies. Alright, he's dead. Another one dead. Did it pop? I don't think so. Yeah, there's another dude here. Alright, now it popped. I heard it. Any insane load? I mean, it's just lotuses. Yeah, my teammates got him. Alright, so I'm at the construction area looking for tape. I finally got a jackhammer. I don't know what my teammates are shooting at. I think they're getting the observer though. But yes, from here I'm trying to get a generator as well, tape, that's, that's mainly it. We do need them later on if we don't need them now, especially the tape for C4. Just clear out the zombies first. Alright, so as for the final horde, we're going to do it right over here, right underneath our base. I have a blowtorch with me, let's go. Yeah, they did place it. I think I let my jackhammer back in the sky base, man. It's fine, it's gonna be easy anyway. Pirates hordes are easy to do and easy to get. Thing is, they don't really give us that much loot. We need to be careful that we don't all run out of the area, because then the horde will pop and it'll break. Alright, the mega zombie spawned. He's dead. I right, just cleared the zombies. And horde beacon is finished. That took us like 30 seconds, man. That was quite quick. Very quick horde beacon. Alright, so I am putting all the C4 that we have in our vault. We're gonna go and we're gonna try to raid. The dude is still online. We're gonna go and do a Pretty good raid. He's only the only villain in the server as well. As soon as he kills someone, he's always saying easy or something like that. Which is kind of funny to be honest. But we're gonna go and do this insane base raid. Alright, so we are here now. The owner actually did just leave the server. Which is incredible timing. But we're still gonna raid. We're gonna go to this one. This is the one that I saw. Now, I don't know if there's base health. Last time I raided, an armored door took 8 C4. But I'm gonna split them, I'm not gonna raid all of them at the same time. Maybe that server had base health or something. Or maybe this one's already damaged, who knows. Alright, 2c4 till now. Oh yeah, 4 and we're through, exactly. 
Right, so there's some lockers. There was a bunch of military drives here, but they're all gone. I don't know if they just all broke from the C4 or if he locked off with them. Okay, we broke everything in here. A bunch of gunpowder. Lovely. There's C4 as well. Brenter, two Brenters, some Brenter ammo. Alright, not too bad. There's a bunch of PvP guns too. I see a walnuts, modded guns, detonator. Alright, so since we got ourselves a Brenter, we can use the remaining ammo to break this. Yeah, it did break. And there's a bunch of Bevlar coils. We got ourselves a mercenary backpack too. That's pretty good. Alright, not too bad. Now we still gotta raid the other one, obviously. So let's do that. Alright, so I'm gonna put a couple of C4 here as well. Let's do two for now. Maybe the previous C4s did damage this one as well. Alright, we still need to put more. I'm just gonna shoot a couple of Brenter, because maybe it will be enough. Okay, second shot. Oh, he gave me a Brenter box. Oh, thank you, man. Lovely. Alright, let's unbox this. Third shot did not break still. My teammate does have a C4. Oh, and my other teammate had <laughs> gunpowder. Alright, lovely. It still did not break. Oh, this door is strong. Alright, yeah, we're through. Bunch of lockers, another two beds. This one is even better than the last one, maybe. Right, let's start trading with Brenter. This one should only take three shots. The big ones, I think, take like six or seven. And it was empty. Alright, so my teammate is saying that he can craft C4, which is absolutely amazing. Something that we do need. I do have a bunch of gunpowder, which we can also make them. Problem is, I don't know if we have any lotuses, though. I really wish that the owner did not leave, to be honest. I really wanted to online raid. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a door. Just in case people attempt to counter or something like that, we should be safe. If only one person stays in here, and I'm gonna do a bed, then we'll be safe. So my teammate is just waiting for copper coil to spawn, and then apparently we should be able to make C4. All we need is two copper coil, and that's basically two more C4. So we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna put the gunpowder in my vault, the detonator as well. Oh no, I didn't even put it in. And with two C4, hopefully it will be enough to actually raid all of those lockers. If not, then we'll just have to wait a bit more. But that igloo is my igloo now. I've literally taken it over. Alright, so I'm trying to get copper coil. My other teammates are running around as well trying to get stuff that we need. I do have my bed there, so it's fine. We can always just slash home instantly. But they did not spawn yet, man. They take a while to spawn. Oh, I think they just did as soon as I said that. Yeah, I hear them sizzling down here. Yeah, one of them did. Alright, that's better than nothing. At least one, man. Oh, the other one just spawned right over here as well. Alright, I'm gonna home. We're gonna go to the igloo that we're at. Oh yeah, my teammates are still here, actually. They were just chilling. Hello. Alright, so now we should have a couple of C4. Enough to raid all of those lockers, hopefully. If not, I still have the Brenter. A couple of shots in it. So hopefully we'll be done with the second igloo base raid. Alright, uh, we are back. My teammates also did a second door, which is probably gonna get traded with DC4. Alright, they need to get out or else they're gonna to die. I'm not gonna raid them. Blaze is gonna raid them. Alright, All right, yeah, that did break the majority. Okay, there's a lot of- Oh my god, there's so much gunpowder there. Bro, a bunch of guns, Lotus. My teammates are just picking stuff extremely fast, so I, there may be some stuff that I missed. Penumbra, copper coils, grenades, flare guns. Oh, there's so much more over here. Sentry parts. There's literally a full sentry over here. We can craft one right now. I'm gonna take the gunpowder and the tape. If I have grenades, I can probably make C4 right here, right now. And yeah, there's only a couple left. This is a pretty good raid, man. Yes, sir, I can make one C4. There's more junk here. A bunch of modded guns. I have no idea what's good or what's bad. Yeah, you can. All right, everybody get out before we all die. All right, he did break it. Let's close the door and... A bunch of gun parts, a bunch of guns, more sentry parts. Alright, not too bad. There's so much Bevlar in here as well, man. These guys grinded heavily. Alright, swear this helmet is full mercenary. Also, by the way, the owner is in the server. He's just said he's in melee. So let's just tell him nice base so that he, re he actually realizes that he got traded. Alright, well, gunpowder, there is a rainbow fish. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's take this Brent here. Alright, yeah, he just realized he got traded. He joined the server and he didn't log off inside his base. He logged off somewhere. Then he joined back and he didn't home. In the meantime, we raided his base. So that's a bit unlucky for him. But pretty good for us because we got ourselves quite a ton of loot. Alright, let's make sure that we don't miss anything. This guy is definitely going to be coming back to try to counter or something. I don't know. And he say he's calling us children. Uh, I sense that he's going to get very mad very soon. 
So we are back, we're currently placing all of the items. I did get a lot of tape. My teammates have a lot of gunpowder, Jesus. Yeah, we definitely profited from this raid, man. Now we're gonna go back because I'm pretty sure we missed a lot of items. Let's drop all of the items here as well. We'll put the gun parts. Let's drop everything. Because I'm pretty sure that guy is next to his base. Let's just get some meds and let's home. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, wait, he's not here. Oh yeah, he is. He's up there. Right, he's, he's so low. Yeah, he's dead. Right, and he has... Oh my god, so much cans and grenades, bro. That's perfect. We can make all of those into C4. Alright, let's go. Insane loot. Yeah, he's, he's actually getting mad. It's okay, bro. I mean, I don't blame him, to be honest. Alright, guys, so I have successfully moved all of the items that we have. And we've also upgraded all of our base to armored. Except for a few roofs here and there. But look at all of this gunpowder and all of this bevlar as well. That's honestly incredible. My teammates are taking a screenshot with the gunpowder, I think. I don't know what they're doing. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want to see more similar videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. I did have a fun time. Again, thank you to my teammates for inviting me to join this server and get some content. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.